uploading screenshots to your Steam account. A how-to. This was something I ran into at one point as well. Uh, I got a few pointers and I figured I'd make this video to help others who may have the same issue or are new to Steam. I'll also show how to set up the key bindings to your preference, take screenshots, and show how to quickly and easily access them from your taskbar. Now, because on every uh, Windows-based computer, I say Windows-based because I don't know about um, Macs or Linux. I do not have neither. I, I do not have neither. <laughs> I do not have either of those, so I can't say where the Steam icon will be on the desktop, but on every Windows-based computer, the Steam icon is on your taskbar, which is at the very bottom of your screen, um, next to your clock, your calendar, I'll also show how to enable and disable the FPS and move it around on your screen. To start, uh, I already have Steam opened up, but you're going to open up Steam. You're going to go to your settings. Now, if you have Family View on Steam, you're going to have to turn that off because you're not going to be able to access the settings with Family View, family view on. Um, and to turn that off, you're just going to click on the little icon here. This is going to pop up. This is confirming that you'd like to return. I already have it turned off, but there's going to be a little uh, dialogue pop up box. OK, we'll just confirm. I'll show you. Um, so you're going to exit family view. This is going to come up. You're going to punch in your four digit code that you choose, and that turns off family view. From there, you're going to go to settings and you're going to get this little dialogue pop up box. Now here, I'm just going to go in order. So first, we're going to talk about the interface first and foremost. Now here, you can change the language of the client. You can change the uh, uh, time format. So it can be 12 hour, 24 hour um, beta participation. That's not what we're talking about here, though. So you're going to scroll all the way down to taskbar preferences. This is going to show uh, well, this is going to allow you to change what shows up when you do click on the Steam icon on your taskbar. So here, first and foremost, when you open up the taskbar preferences, you're going to see your um, online options. So online, away, invisible, or offline. These are all the destinations that Steam calls them, uh, as Steam calls them. Uh, you can, uh, when you open up the, you're going to get a little drop down box when you open it up on your taskbar. All of this can be changed through the settings client here, or the settings dialog box. Now, to show your screenshots or to be able to access your screenshots from that little drop down box, you need to turn it on here. So, here you see screenshots, it's turned on. If I turn this off, I can't see my screenshots here anymore. So, turn that back on, and there it is screenshots. Now, back on the left hand side here, if we go down to in game, here is where you can change the overlay, change the FPS. You can have it in the top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left, or you can just turn it off altogether if you don't want it. But if you're trying to keep a, a trying to keep track of how your game is running or what kind of frames per second you're getting in, um, while you're playing your game, you're going to want to want that on. And then you can change it to uh, have the high contrast color. I'm not sure what it would look like if you turn that off. I just always keep it on the high contrast color. So it's like a, I guess you could call it like a neon green. That's just so it can be seen no matter what's going on in game. And then here you have your screenshots, which is what we're talking about here. So by default, I'm not sure exactly what the default key binding is. I don't remember because I've had it set to F10 for quite some time at this point, but that's what I'm using. You can use whatever you like, whatever key binding. Um, you can also set it up so that when a screenshot is taken, Steam will either display a notification, play a sound, or you could do both if you really want to. Um, or you can save an uncompressed copy of your screenshot uh, to a separate folder where a separate folder from where your screenshots would be saved. So once you've taken your screenshots, you don't have anything else to do here, but we'll just move this over. I'll leave it open. You're going to go back down to the icon on the tray. Go ahead and click on it. Choose screenshots. That's going to bring up this dialog box or the screenshot manager is what it's officially called. You're going to choose your screenshot and in the box provided, you're going to add a caption. You can put whatever you want. You're going to choose your visibility. You can also 
click this little tick box to tag it as a potential spoiler. So, you know, if it's a important part of a game that you took a screenshot of that you wanted to share, but it could ruin the story of the game for some people, you can tag it as a spoiler. Then once you have all that set, you can click upload or don't go through any of that. And it's an image that you took that you no longer want. Say, I want to get rid of this one. I'm not going to, but let's just say I want to. You can go ahead and just click the little garbage can icon right next to the upload button to delete it. But that's basically it. Once you have it all figured out, it's actually very simple and straightforward. And once you have this settings dialog open, you can go through all of this. To make it short and sweet, you can just change all of this to suit your preferences, whatever it may be. Hopefully this video was helpful and informative. Please give this video a big old thumbs up and share, subscribe. Be sure to leave your comments. Constructive criticism is always welcome. And with all of that said and done, I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye bye for now.